Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing today? Mounting prints. Getting ready for a road trip. Got to get lots of new prints mounted. This is how we do it. It's a fabric glue. That's specially free. designed. Yeah, it's acid free. It's specially designed for uh, mounting prints, particularly canvas. big roller to get a nice even even coating. And I've got the areas marked off where where the prints are going to go. Uh, that way I can just do one area at a time and not worry about the, the glue drying too quickly. And this is also how you mount your canvases for That's paper. right, yeah. In fact this board um, I'm mounting some prints but I've got some extra an extra area on the board left over and so I'm going to mount some blank canvas that I'll use for my own paintings. So we get this rolled on. Now why do you mount your canvas instead of stretching it? Um, it allows me to, the beauty of this is that I can cut the canvas to whatever size I want. The board cuts really nicely and I can cut it to whatever size I want. And it also, at a later date, gives me an option of um, cutting, the, cutting the board down. If I decide the painting needs to be slightly smaller, um, I can cut it down. It also has a really nice firm surface, so I can really, I can press onto it, I can make marks onto it, and not worry about the stretcher bars that are underneath the stretched canvas. Uh, they, they make impressions on the front when you press down too much. So, Which is go. important the way you paint, but if somebody's painting more impressionistic... Yeah, if somebody's using thicker paint, that doesn't really matter, that doesn't factor in. But with the very thin layers that I use, it's important to not, to not get those kind of blemishes on the front of the canvas. So here, we've got it rolled out and I just check it for any little bits. Before I did this, I wiped the whole surface down to get it clean. So now I'm gonna lay this piece of canvas on. Just carefully lift it up. I'm gonna let it overlap the edge a little bit. Lay it down. And I rub my hands over it just gently. And I can feel if there are any bubbles in there. And work those work those bubbles out from the center. I can feel one right here, so just carefully work it towards the edge. The edges always want to curl up, so i to get those down. And while it's still wet, I'm going to trim off the edge. Just take a raised blade, just set it there and then Got nice two nice square sides. This is kind of a delicate process because if I put if I put the glue on too thick and I press too hard when I'm doing this, my fingertips can move the glue around underneath the canvas. So it may feel nice and smooth, but when I paint, when I put my paint on, my first few coats of paint, you can see dips in the surface from where my hands have pushed the glue around. 
So it's a delicate balance between getting the pressure just right and the glue spread just right. So there we go. That's and you're also checking for any little yeah. Bits as I of... run as I run my hand over it, because your fingers are the best the best guide. They're so sensitive. I can pick up any little blemishes that are on there. See, I can feel that. That's a little it's a little speck of something. And if I don't get rid of it, maybe there's enough glue on my fingers to glue it to the surface. So just just feeling it. You can feel where there's any blemishes or any specks of dust or anything that you want to get rid of. So, there we go, that's all ready. Let that dry.